Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how you can connect to Firebase using Vue.js. We are going to set up authentication where the user can sign up, sign in and sign out. The first thing we can do is create a new project if you just open your command line and here we say view create Firebase auth. I want to manually select features. I don't need linter for this project. Vuex and router and Babel. Perfect. I don't want history mode, that's not necessary now. And I want it to use dedicated config files. No. Okay, now the project is created and I can go into the folder. I need to install two dependency, Bulma and Firebase. So I just say npm install Bulmar and Firebase. Okay, then I can run the project. So we have it running in the background. npm run serve. I can open this address in the browser. There we have it. As you can see, the router is already working. Then we can go to the editor and start coding. The first thing we can do is to create a new folder in SRC called services and in services I create a new file called database.js this is where the connection to Firebase will be inside here I can start by importing Firebase down here I will create a config and some functions but first we need to go to Firebase console to create the project so I go to Firebase console add project firebase what we can call it here too i need to copy a few lines of config there i can go back here and just paste it here and back in the firebase console i can click on authentication set up sign in method and i want to enable email password so you can also enable various other services for signing in but in this tutorial we are just going to use email password under here i can say const database equals firebase dot initialize app and use the config parameters at the bottom i can say export default database so now we can use the database variable in other files. We want to be able to store the user using a Vuex. So if I go to store.js and create a new state variable called current user and just assign it to null. And in mutations I say set current user. And this will take two parameters, state and payload. And in here we just say state.currentUser equals payload. Payload will always be the user or just null. So we can just save that now and go back to database.js. On the top there we can import the store we just created. So we say import store from store slash store. Down here I want to create the sign up function, so we just say database.signup equals async. We want to take two parameters, which is email and password. Then we say await firebase.auth.create user with email and password and pass in the email and password if this goes wrong we want to catch an error so we add a try catch catch error and just return the error up here we say return true up here we want to save the user so we say store.commit set current user and we say firebase.auth.current user 
and save. Now we want to implement the sign up function, so we create a new view sign up dot view add the template tag div sign up create the script tag and export the name which will be sign up close the script tag and save we will go to router.js and just copy this line rename to sign up sign up and here we can copy this object like that now we will be able to navigate to slash sign up but to make it easier we add the link in the navigation so up here we can copy the about link we can just replace the about link sign up sign up and save so if you go to the browser to test now you'll see the home and the sign up link. If you click it, we will see the sign up screen we just created. Next, we will add the form, which will contain an email and password. So go back to signup.view and say form at submit.prevent sign up. Inside here, we want two fields, one for the email and one for the password. Set it to email so it can be validated and bind it to the email variable. Give it a placeholder so we know what to fill in there. Rename to password. We can also add the class input so we can get some style from Bulma and under here we add the button it's primary sign up next we need to add these two fields and the method so we go down here and say data return email empty password also empty I will need a variable to store the error Next, we can add the method. So we create the methods property and say async sign up. And when we call this function, we want to get the result back. So we can add the variable let result equals await database dot sign up. And we pass in this dot email and this dot password. We need to import the database on top here, so we can just say import database from services database. If you go back to this function, you will see that we return the error if there is one. And if there is one, we know that we want to show the error, so we can say if result.message which is the error we say this dot error equals result.message under here we can just say console.log user is created and before we test this we can go to app.view to just import Bulma so we say import Bulma CSS Bulma.css and save. Now we can go to the browser to look at it. You'll see that the input fields are styled and the button also has some style. Now if we try to sign up now, you'll see that we got an error here, but we need to show it in the form. So we can go to sign up.view and under here, div class message is danger. And we only want to show it if there is an actual error. Div class message body. And inside here we print the error. Save. We can go back to the browser to test this. 
Now we see a pretty error message here. It fills up the whole screen, so we can add a column to make it a little bit more narrow. Class columns. And in here we say column is four, so it's only one fourth of the screen. And it's one fourth away from the left part side of the screen. And save. So now it looks a little bit better. If we try to click again, the error message is only filling up this part. Now we can try to sign up a user. So I just fill in a username and a password and save. And you will see down here, user is created. If I go back to Firebase Auth, I will see that the user here is created. Next thing we can do now is to create a sign up form. You can just go back to the code and I can copy all of the content inside of signup.view create a new file sign in dot view and paste it next I can replace a little bit because we don't want the things in here to be called signed up and sign in and down here user is signed in and save if I also go back to your router, we can import the sign-in view we just created. And we can copy this, rename it. And last, we can add the link in the navigation, sign-in, and save. So if we go back to the browser now and click sign-in, you will see the sign-in screen. But we need to create the sign in function inside of a database.js. If we copy this function, it should be very similar. We can just rename to sign in. And instead of create user, we want to sign in. And the rest of here is just the same. So I can save now. Then we can go back to the browser to test the sign in. So I just write the same as I did in the sign up. Click sign in and user is signed in. Then we can go over and remove these two buttons when we are signed in and show a sign out button instead. First we can just create the sign out function here. So I can copy this again. Rename to sign out. These two we don't need. And instead of sign in we call sign out. Now we don't have a user to assign so we can Assign it to null instead and save. Inside app.view we can create a new script because we need to know if we are signed in or out. Here I want to add a computed property. Current user return this dot store dot state dot current user and I only want to show these two when we are not signed in so we can add a template v if not current user And if we are signed in, I want to show the sign out button instead. V else. Okay, at click sign out. Close the template egg. If I save now and go back to the browser to test this, I can do a sign in. You will see that there's sign out instead of the two sign in and sign up buttons. We got the error down here because the click event is not created yet. So we can go back to the code. And under computed we say methods sign out. This also needs to be async await. 
database dot sign out uh, lost we need to import database here services database and save now we can try the sign out button and we immediately get sign up and sign in instead problem here is that if I try to sign in again you'll see that I am signed in but if I refresh I'm automatically signed out the app is created before we get any authentication information from Firebase so we need to add a router guard to check if we are signed in or out so if we head back to main.js and we can say let app and we need to import firebase down here is a const initialize and we can copy this put it inside app equals if not app And we will call this function when we know if we are signed in or not. Down here we say firebase dot auth dot on auth state changed. And in here we can check if the user is authenticated by just saying if user. And if it is authenticated, we can save it to the store. Set current user user else we want to set the current user to null we can just copy this null and here we say initialize and save you can go back to the browser and you'll see that now I am actually signed in but instead of showing the sign in and sign out views we want to show a profile we need to create this by going to views create file profile.view create a template tag here and a script tag export default name profile computed we want to get the user here in here I say current user return this dot store dot state dot current user and in here I can show information about user so I say current user dot email and close the tag we need to implement this in the router And I can just copy these lines. And save. Let's try to visit profile. You will see that my email is here. I can also change the sign up function so that when I sign out, I will be redirected away from profile and show the sign in instead. So I go back and open up view. And under sign out here I say this dot router dot push sign in and save. So if I now just click sign out, I will be redirected to the sign in screen. And the same when I'm signed in, instead of just showing a message in the console, I can redirect myself to the profile page. So I can go to sign in dot view and say profile save so I can sign in again now and I'm redirected to the profile one error is that if I sign out now and just try to go to profile there will be an error because I'm not signed in so when I go to profile without being authenticated I want to redirect to sign in page to do this I need to go back to the router and add a router guard 
So instead of exporting it, I say let router equals router. Before I go to a route, I want to check the metadata and see if it's set to auth. So here I say router dot before each. I can check here if next dot meta dot auth and we are not signed in. So if we have meta in the property up here and we are not signed in, we want to redirect the user. So here we will say next path sign in and if we are signed in we can just go to next. Up here in the profile I add meta auth true. So we have to be authenticated in order to reach this profile view. If I save now and go back to the browser and try to visit profile. I did one error here. I need to replace next with two because it's the route we are going to. And up here I need to import store from and save. So you can now see I was automatically redirected to the sign-in. I can try again and go to profile, but you will see that I'm redirected to sign-in. Sign-in. Also, if I try to refresh, you will see that I'm still authenticated because Firebase keeps track of the sessions for us. And that was it for this lesson. I hope you now understand how you can implement Firebase in your own apps.